Have you guys ever wondered what the heck is DevSecOps that everyone is talking about? It's similar to like this image, how developers add Legos into the pipeline as in code. Security just smashes it because it's not safe and then ops have to deliver it that mess into production. Absolute chaos. This is what app development looks like without DevSecOps. But let me show you how we fix it. Ever wonder how apps like Instagram update every week without falling apart or getting hacked? Most people have no idea DevSecOps is behind the scenes, quietly saving the internet from turning into chaos. So let's break it down like you're seven and building an app out of Legos. Normally, there are three groups of people, developers, the dev, which being the builders, security, the sec, the lock pickers and guards, operations, ops, they are the delivery drivers. Back in the day, they worked in silos. Builders would build, throw it over the wall to security, who'd yelled, this isn't safe, then throw that mess to operations, who had it to somehow deliver it. Total disaster, slow, risky, and expensive. Enter the DevSecOps. So instead of waiting till the end to bolt security on like a last minute seatbelt, DevSecOps bake security into every step of building and delivering software. Think of it like Dev writes the code, sec, check it as they go with automated tools and ops, set it up to be deployed securely and smoothly. It's collaboration, it's speed, it's safety, and it's all at once. You wanna hear a real, real world example? When you download a banking app update, developers add new features, security scans for vulnerabilities before it even ships, and operations pushes it live with monitoring tools to catch bugs instantly. All of this thanks to DevSecOps. No one's scrambling last minute, no one's patching in production. It's like making a cake with all the right ingredients instead of baking it first and hoping you can sprinkle in some security later. So if DevSecOps finally clicked for you, hit follow. A breakdown complicated cybersecurity terms so even your grandma can flex at brunch. Comment below what other scary sounding tech terms should I explain next? Let's make cybersecurity make sense together.